how often do you smell what we're smelling right now? Every other day. This is the Hip Hop Fish and Chicken Restaurant on Marlboro Pike in District Heights. Right behind it is Phyllis Wright's home of 25 years. And she believes this trail running downhill from the restaurant is evidence employees are draining something they shouldn't be right through her neighborhood. I know it's coming from there because I went over there and I saw it with my own two eyes. Look at the stainage on the, on the concrete that shows you how long these people have been doing this and getting away with it. This is nothing new. Neighbors say they've complained to management for more than a year. Something has been running out the back. I can't see it on the camera. <laughs> it's really like poop. Yeah. And lately they say the stench has only gotten worse. First they started with the grease. Now they doing the sewage. We, we, we can't live like this. Wright says she's gotten no help from the city, county, or employees at the restaurant. There he is right there. That's the young man I talked to. Go talk to him. And when we tried to get answers from Hip Hop Fish and Chicken, no one would answer the door or our questions. We're just trying to figure out what's going on with the back door. She says things are interested to be on camera, please. Okay. Could you please step back for me. Okay. Is it? Yeah, that's the Okay. Are you draining anything out the back? Thank you very much. Okay. WUSA 9 reached out to Prince George's County and officials promised to look into the problem. Let's get a sample and see if we can figure out what this liquid actually is. In the meantime, independent tests could help solve the mystery of what seems to be flowing downhill here. We shouldn't have to live like this, first and foremost, and they need to do something with this hip hop chicken. Either tear it down, rebuild it, or fix that problem that they have. We were finally able to talk to someone at the restaurant briefly on the phone who admitted they are having a problem but assured us it had nothing to do with the sewer. The person told me they just drained some water from a sink. We'll see if our sample tells us anything more. In Prince George's County, Casey Nolan, WUSA 9.